Papa. Today I want to read you one of our brand new books and it's called Frederico and the Wolf written by Rebecca Gomez. Now this book is a fractured fairy tale and I'm sure you know what a fairy tale is. You've been talking about that in class but a fractured fairy tale takes a classic a fairy tale that's been around for a long, long time and gives it a twist, has a little bit of fun with it. Often it puts it in a modern setting instead of like once upon a time, like a long, long time ago, it gives it a modern feel, today's times. And so let's just see. Oh, by the way, if you are looking what, and noticing the clues here, what is the classic fairy tale that you think this comes from? Well, I see the wolf and it has wolf in the title, but here's the big clue. Federico's Red Hoodie. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Hmm. Did you think Little Red Riding Hood? Mm-hmm. You would be right. All right. Let me get it to the first page here. Ah, oh, beautiful illustrations. Once upon a modern time, a boy named Frederico left to buy ingredients to make the perfect pico. Cuidado, called his mama means caution, be careful. As he pedaled towards the shops, mind Abuelo's grocery list and don't make other stops. Past the buildings, cars and cabs, young Frederico scurried until he reached the marketplace where people browsed unhurried. He filled the basket on his bike with romas, herbs and limes, jalapenos, onions and a peck of allenheims. That, that's like a jalapeno that's a little bit mild and not so spicy. He added garlic pickles bread and other market, good, market goods, then pedaled through the city park and deep into the woods. I hope you're noticing that this is a rhyming text too. Uh, goods, woods, uh, scurried, unhurried, shops, stops. It's fun when you kind of notice these rhyming words too. A fallen branch had blocked the path so Rico stopped his ride. With steady force, he pushed and, bat and budged the barrier aside. Hola, called un lobo, catching Rico unaware. I see you've packed a hefty lunch. You got some grub to spare? Sorry, lobo, Rico said. I must be on my way. I have to be at Grandpa's shop by 12 o'clock today. Federico grabbed his bike and left the, wo the wolf behind. Little did he know the wolf had other plans in mind. La tienda was deserted. The store, Rico listened, not a sound. The signs had closed and what were those? Some paw prints on the ground. Federico peeked inside, alarmed by what he saw. A figure waved him over with a large and furry paw. Mm, look at that. Abuelo, whispered Frederico, pulling off his hood. Yes, it's me, but I can't see. Come closer, if you would. Aye, I think you need a shave. Your beard has grown so thick. You think so, said El, El Lobo. Steady grooming does the trick. Your arms have gotten grande. My new workouts made me strong. New dentures too? They help me chew because they're sharp and long. Dentures are fake teeth. By now the wolf was drooling. All this chatter is getting old. I'm hungry, bub. I need some grub before I pass out cold. Okay, said Rico, let me see. I've brought your favorite treats, whole grain bread, a cabbage head, a jar of pickled beets. A lobo's nose began to twitch. Mi niño, here's the deal. Set those yucky things aside and I'll make you my meal. He bounded from La Silla. That means his chair, La Silla. But Rico tossed some chili powder straight into his snout. Wait, wait, wait. He bounded from La Silla, 
with a grunting, growling shout. But Rico tossed some chili powder <clears throat> straight into his snout. The wolf inhaled, he sniffed, he snuffed, he itched and twitched and wheezed, but tried to wipe his drippy nose, but uh, 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 sneezed. Rodrigo ducked and dashed, then rummaged through his sack. Not so fast, you tasty tyke. I haven't had my snack. But Rico quickly plotted. When the wolf's mouth opened wide, he grabbed an habanero and he jammed it deep inside. Ooh, hot pepper. The lobo gulped. He gagged and coughed. His ojos blazed bright red. Steam was puffing out his ears. I need to dunk my head. He hurtled through La Puerta, through the door, La Puerta with a shrieking, gasping scream and dashed as fast as he could go toward the distant stream. Ayuda, cried Abuelo, ayuda, that means help, help me. From inside a bolted box, Rico found him safe and snug in just his shorts and socks. Gracias, he scrambled out with shouts of pride and joy. I thought that wolf would do us in, but you prevailed, my boy. They cleaned the mess and Gramps got dressed and then shared a bit of lunch. How about we make a sauce that packs a special punch? They chopped and diced, used lots of spice and, sim and simmer sauce all night, then bottled their concoction Wolf Bane Salsa, extra bite. And here it gives a pico recipe and tells you how to pronounce some of the Spanish words. I hope you enjoyed this fractured fairy tale. I know that I did. All right. And see you later, alligator.